What is up you guys? I'm Dark Celtic and today we're going to be talking about how to make a Steam account and how to make it perfect as in no problems, you're not going to have any troubles cuz Steam's a little finicky. Um first I want to make me a uh, Gmail cuz I need an extra uh I need a new Gmail account, a Smurf type thing. Uh so I'm going to go through this real quick. All right, now that I have my new Smurf email set up, Bobby Johnson you can go just straight over to Steam. You want to do the first link that pretty much comes up, which is Welcome to Steam. Um, I'm going to be logging out of this Smurf that I made earlier. Um, I have one Smurf. I have a main Smurf, which is using my personal email, and then this Smurf is for educational purposes. Well, thank you, Google Chrome. Let me let me see what all comes up here. All right, I don't care that you know these because uh, that's my that's two of my main emails. Um, I don't care if you know those. I just don't want you having my personal, personal email. Alright, so do you join Steam. Uh, this one is going to be um, the Dark Celtic, so that nobody can take that. Check availability. It's available. Uh, password. Um, actually, let me change that. That makes it a strong password. And you want a strong password. You want a capital and some numbers, and you want some letters in there. It's good to have one. Uh, my current email right now, the Smurf that I just made, was I I am Dark Celtic. Is that it? Is this that one? Yeah, I am Dark Celtic Four. I am Dark Celtic Four at Gmail dot com forty two. Four. Okay. Question, um, Bobby. Refresh. K C K W nine K. Always refresh these just in case. I am over 13 years old. Verify you're human. Sometimes that'll pop up. Just retype whatever they've put in. Oh yeah, they want capitals. K T Q J H L. It's case sensitive for some reason. Okay. Now here's the important part. Uh, just hit install Steam. Uh, do the normal installation, just like anything else. Um, once you've done that, you should go to your uh, desktop, there should be a Steam button. Um, this should come up, and I will be go ahead and use that. Uh, this is the what did I put it as? Should say your name up here. The Dark Celtic. Okay, so the Dark Celtic is right here. Password is uh, that. Uh, hit remember my password and log in. Do 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 do. Benedink. Just hit agree. Close the advertisement that comes up. Um, say yes to this. It'll send you a little thingy to your email. This is the important stuff. Uh, email verification. Just click on that and it'll verify your account. Success. And then you can exit out of both of those. And you can you can exit out of everything there. Alright, so now um, I already have Team Fortress 2 downloaded. Um, so I'm just going to show one thing. Once you have, uh, wow, Audio Surf is. Oh no, I still have to purchase it. That's okay. Uh, once you have it, it should bring up you know your store, your library, your community. Hit this right here. It'll show that you have a bad name. It, well, it doesn't look very good, I guess. So here you want to change your profile first of all. Profile name. This is where you can take and change it to anything. Um, I'm going to change this one to I am dark. Celtic, no, for real, serious, 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 <laughs> and that'll be your name uh, now, and people will see you as that, but that's not what you log in as. You log in with that at the top right there, so do not forget that, and do not forget your password, no matter how many times you change your name. Okay, now for the most important thing that most people forget to do. Hit community, then hit profile. 
and you don't have a Steam ID. If you ever like lose your stuff or you want to add friends or anything like that, you gotta have a Steam ID. So set up my Steam ID. My real name is Dark Celtic. Headline: A fake account. Dark Celtic Gaming. There you go. Our ID is Dark Celtic Gaming. So nobody can take that from me either. Uh, United States. I'm from Alaska. City is Kodak. Uh, and then you want to pick you out a picture from your computer. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna pick a. I'm gonna pick a card from here. Let's see white. Do, do, do. No, I want. Uh, yeah, green. Here we go. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you? At? Ah, there you go. Granny Smith. Upload. Yeah. Add one man to your mana pool. <laughs> You can connect your Facebook, you can put in any websites or URLs that you have, um, and you can just set up whatever you want. Tell a little bit about yourself, that kind of thing. Uh, let me make sure group settings, yeah, we're good. And then just hit save. Once you do that, you officially have a profile. Okay, You can even check out your profile by clicking up here, my profile. This is a fake account. It'll come up like this. Um, then you want to download your first game. Well, since I already have it downloaded, I don't have to worry about it, but you want to go to store. And there's a free game called Team Fortress 2, and uh, it's free to play, and it's the number one most free to play game on Steam, and it's probably one of the best games on Steam in my opinion. This game is so fun to play; so many people play it. Uh, go right here; it'll say Play Team Fortress 2. Just hit this button. Um, it should, it maybe should, it might say Install for you. It might say Play Game, but just click this button right here, and it will bring up um, and download. Wait for it to download and feel free to play. Um, you can go off and buy games. Um, you can buy the new Tomb Raider game for 50 bucks, or you know, it's kind of like an iTunes for gaming, in my opinion. So I really like it. Um, so yeah, that's the idea. Um, once you have your first game, you can add a friend. Uh, right now, I'm not allowed to add friends because I don't have an actual Steam game in my in my uh, pocket. So I would have to go off and buy something. It doesn't matter. It could be like 50 cents. It doesn't matter. You can even go to TF2 and buy a key, and it will open up your account. So you just have to buy something from Steam. That's the idea. And then you can add friends and be friends with people. Otherwise, you're stuck playing free-to-play games. And most of the free-to-play games on this on Steam isn't very good. Um, so. The most popular is Team Fortress 2, Planet Side 2, uh, and you just get crap after that. Literally, just pretty much crap. Uh, Lord of the Rings Online is pretty good, but there's not very many good free-to-play games on here. Um, if you want some cheap games, though, you can go over to uh, da -da 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 -da, right here, and you can get games that's under $10 or under $5. Um, the... Top sellers is Primal Carnage, Anger Birds, um, The Binding of Isaac. Binding of Isaac is so fun. I'm not even going to play with you. Binding of Isaac is amazing. Um, the new releases of the $5 and under, Anger Bird Space, some random. Yeah, $5 and under, there's not too many good games, but Binding of Isaac's really good. Uh, games under $10, there's quite a few good ones. Sleeping Dogs right now is under $10. Uh, it's a $40 game. Gary's Mod's under $10. That's a good one. Terraria. Uh, Arma 2 to some people. Then you can hit all games, and then you can look at every single game that's under $10. Um, there's 97 pages of them. So, I mean, you can go find you a game. There's plenty of games on Steam to play. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, and they have weekly specials. Like, they sell certain games, like Max Payne 3 is, like, $40. Now it's $13.60 for this week. And um, they have daily specials. Yeah, that's today's deal, this Sleeping Dogs, for 10 bucks. It ends in 16 hours. 50% uh, off Football Manager. Stuff like that. You can get some really good games for pretty cheap on here. But anyway, just be sure to set up your profile. That's one of the most important things that people forget about. Um, and buy you a game so that you can add your friends. Um, 
Uh, if you want to add me, if you guys are curious, uh, you can also hit friends right here, community, then friends. Um, and then you can search players right here. And if you want to find me, just type in Dark Celtic Gaming. And uh, you'll get my group, and you'll get my main player YouTube channel thingy. Uh, you can join both if you want to, but uh, this is what I am. Uh, Dark Celtic Gaming and YouTube, Beyond Birthday, Kentucky. I'm Dark Celtic, also go by BB. I'm in college right now. You know, I've got a whole bunch of people that rep me and uh, all my games that I've played. So and then you can just hit add friend whenever you're there. Uh, so yeah, thanks for looking and enjoy Steam.